Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Garris Mod tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a teleporter uh, with wire mod. Now, on some servers, you can actually make this teleporter work on some dark RP servers, but also other wire mod servers. Um, but on some servers, they actually disable the teleporters. All right, so first of all, you want to get a airboat. They are usually listed on the uh, vehicles tab when you're playing dark RP. Um, Alright, this is the car from last time. I'm going to place that aside for now. There we go. Alright, so first of all, you want to get yourself a nice airboat um, seat. Once you did this, you can go to teleporter. Uh, what the hell? Teleporter. Alright, so I usually use this one. Oh, and by the way, it might be called um, something with hover controller on uh, the server that you play on. Or it is called a teleporter. Alright, what you want to do, you actually want to put it on the bottom of your airboat seat and what that will do it will actually um, it won't won't really link it but it just like uh, welds itself to your airboat seat alright so you can toggle the sound effects here as you see the sound effects are when you're playing on server they are really annoying and almost everyone in the map can hear them so you might want to turn them off but the normal effects that you get those are actually quite nice so you want to keep those now, we gotta put a pod controller on our teleporter. So we're gonna right click, or I mean left click, and then right click, and right click on the seat. It will say that it is now linked. Just to be sure, I'm gonna weld it. Now, this is all you need for the teleporter, actually. The only thing you gotta do now is you gotta use the advanced wire tool to actually wire things up. So, first of all, what you want to do is you want to click on this one, jump, and then you want to press the button that you want to use to actually jump. So, I'm going to use mouse 1. Then, you want to go to X and link it to X. You want to link Y to Y, and you want to link Z. Oh, that's Y again. So switch tools and switch back. You want to use Z and link it to Z. Very easy. Now, just to make things easier, you want to go here click, um, oh, not lock, you want to use crosshairs as you see and then you want to go here press once and then go to active that will mean that when you're sitting in a chair you can actually use your crosshair alright so now your teleporter is actually already working what you just gotta do is you, you can give it a color if you want to so for example when I want it to be um, let's just give it uh, stripes as you see you can just do whatever you want with it holy shit um, this teleporter slash hover controller might actually fall on the ground. Doesn't really matter, it still works. Alright, so this looks, looks looks pretty decent, I guess. We're just gonna go ahead and sit in here. I would freeze it so other people can pick it up. It still works. Alright, so once you sit in it, you see you have your crosshair. Just, just click somewhere and you will be teleported. So, this is the sound that you just heard. It's very, very, very annoying. Um, so you might want to turn it off. Let's go over here. As you see, in single player there is no limit to where you can teleport. But when you're playing in multiplayer there is actually a limit. So you can go anywhere. Um, but you can actually go on the admin roofs, for example, in Dark RP. Uh, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. So I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.